In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I have a question from Dr. Sam Gabriel. What is the importance of faith? And how do we increase our faith? The question of two parts. First of all, I would like to explain what is faith, what is the definition of faith. The best definition St. Paul mentioned in his epistle to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. He said, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is without any doubt, complete confidence that these matters exist even without having seen them. That will lead us to answer the first part of the question. I would like to repeat the question again. What is the importance of faith? Faith it is, ve is very important. As the Bible said very clearly, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, to please God. This is in Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6. Faith is very important because it is one of the most important three virtues in Christianity, as St. Paul said in First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, faith, hope, and love. And he mentioned faith first. Faith is the life of righteousness. Also, as St. Paul said in Hebrew, Chapter 10, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. Very clear. Now the just shall live by faith. Also, I would like to say faith is the beginning of the way which lead to God. Faith is the elementary necessity for salvation. As our Lord Jesus Christ himself said in Mark chapter 16, verse 16, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. Believe means who have faith in me, in the Lord, and be baptized, will be saved. Also, faith save us from the condemnation of God. He said, he who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. John chapter 3, verse 18. So this is, I would like to emphasize that faith is very important for our salvation. Of course, salvation is available for everyone who believes in Jesus, who believe that the blood of Jesus cleanse us from our sin. Because the Bible said without the shed of the blood there is no salvation or there is no redemption. This is what St. Paul said to the 
prison keeper. And this is mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. You and your household believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we said, faith is the beginning of our way to the Lord. It is not only the beginning, but is go along, or we can say faith is our companion throughout our lives until we go to the eternal life with our Lord Jesus Christ to be with him forever and ever. This is to answer the first part of the question, what is the importance of faith? The second part of the question, how can we increase our faith? In the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, verse 5, the apostle said, increase our faith. Increase our faith, this is mean that faith have different degrees. It can be increased and can be decreased. But whatever and how much faith we have, we have to say with the apostle, increase our faith. And there are five simple ways to increase our faith. Number one, trust. We must trust God in all things. He said in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 10, verse 10, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. We have to trust the Lord. In God we trust. Number two, prayer. Daily prayer will increase our faith. It will invite God into our heart and into our lives. And the more we pray, the more we are close to God, the more we can trust Him, our faith will grow stronger as we release the power of prayer in our lives. St. Paul said, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all preservance and supplications for all the saints. This is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. We trust the Lord and pray to the Lord. Number three, read the scriptures. We said before that the Holy Bible, the scripture is the inspired word of God. God revealed himself to us through the Holy Bible, in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. The more we read the Bible, the more we can increase our faith. Because as David the prophet said, your word is a lamb to my feet, a light on my path. This Psalm 119 verse 105. So the word of God will enlighten our way and lead us in the right direction. Number four, not only to read the word of God, but to apply it in our daily life. You remember when the Lord said, you have been clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. So the word of God his commandments help us to know him more and to believe in him 
trust him more and to live according to his will. All these four points will lead to the last point today. It will make us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. You remember when the Lord Jesus Christ said on the Sermon on the Mount, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. If we really have faith on the Lord, trust Him, pray or talk to Him, read the Bible or listen to Him, apply it in our daily life, we are going to be really light. He said, I am the light of the world, and then he said, you are the light of the world. He is the light of the world in the sense of he is the source of all the light. We are the light of the world when we absorb his light and then shine it upon the other. So the more we receive, the more we share, the more we can increase our faith. It's a very good question. Thank you, Dr. Gabriel. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.